I'm Jeannie from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and I'm here today to teach you what I just learned. I love it. It's called the Russian join. It's a way to do kind of an invisible join without a real bulky fabric. Um, in a, as, it's really good if you're working with uh, expensive yarn and you want to use every little bit. So, Greg had a great suggestion of using two different colors, so that's what we're going to do. So it really hits home to you exactly how this works. I have a tapestry needle. The white yarn is going to represent the last little bit of my working yarn. Okay, and I'm going to thread my tapestry needle. And I just like to uh, pinch get it real snug and kind of pull it through and it just zips right on that way creates kind of a firm edge and just zip, zips through because my eyes are getting old and it's hard to thread a needle um, and you want to pull it down with about an inch, inch and a half left on your tail there okay so we're not going to worry so much about where we exactly start because we can snip this but you want about what? That's about two inches there? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Inch and a half? I don't know. We could get a ruler, but we're not gonna. And this works with plied yarn, uh, singles, just about anything you want to do it with. And you take your tapestry needle with your tail. Remember the white yarn is the end of our working yarn. And we're gonna go into those plies and just kind of feed it in. Like, what do we decide? The Chinese finger puzzle. So you're basically feeding it into itself. You're feeding into itself, right? right? And, um, like I say, any yarn will work for this. Doesn't matter. And you just kind of go about an inch or so into the back part of the yarn. Is that, would that yeah, be rats? So, yeah, so the old thread's going into the old And the old thread yeah. is going into the other end of the yarn and you just pull that through now I just like to maybe pull my tail through you can just take your tapestry needle on you kinda have a little clump of stuff there as soon as you pull it it just snugs up on itself so here's Greg's brilliant idea we're gonna use the other you turn this around and it is good if you lay it on a table or your leg like I'm doing it um, just makes it a little easier to see what you're doing and we're going to pull this down. This is now this orange yarn represents my new ball. Of course, you would probably be using the same color, but the, this gives you more visual definition. And we thread our tapestry needle, and you do exactly the same thing going back into that yarn. I know my thumb's kind of in the way. Um, back into that yarn. Whoops, maybe. This is like a super wash I grabbed. I don't know, it's really soft. But um, I, I, vow, I stand by this join. It really will work on any yarn. And so you've got a little bit of that finger Chinese finger puzzle there. You pull that through. You want to snug this up. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Pull your tail out. That is the Russian join. Fabulous. Okay, and you can see it's virtually clump free. You're going to snip your tails. Don't snip your working yarn. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. Oh my goodness. Snip your tails. I like to leave a little bit of a tail until I've actually knit and then I block my piece and then I come back in and snip these. Just because I'm a neurotic, I hate my ends to come out, so I tend to be a little nuts. So you just knit right across that and that is your join. So that's it. Did that work? That looks great. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, I hope you learned something and enjoy. Um, there's a lot of ways to join new working yarn, but this is one that I really enjoy. Have a great day and happy knitting. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night There's kids on the corner Stuck in a switchblade fight And the rock and roll bands Play for the 